Why non-gaming unicorn? Are you here to game? No. Thanks, non-gaming unicorn. We're here with uh, Eduardo from uh, Pencil First Games, and he's gonna show us his game Lift Off. Get me off this planet. Yeah, so this is Lift Off, and what it is is it's a little bit of a mess because we've been playing. But one of these little aliens, these alien eagles, has tripped and fallen over a cooling cable and the entire planet is going to explode. So basically what people are doing is it's a race to get your 10 aliens off the planet before everyone else. But it's semi-cooperative because as you guys work towards the different liftoff points like the bonfire, satellite, rocket ship, you cooperate to take off in them. So initially you're working together to take off but as you play people start getting a little bit you know, they want to win and it becomes more competitive. But it's a modular board, the pieces come out and you can terraform them to put into put in other pieces and you're using a variety of resource and action cards uh, to play. It's light, it's fast, it's about two to five players, it plays in about 45 minutes, great family play or game night play. Yeah, the non-gaming unicorn picked up a copy of this, so oh, we're awesome. gonna, um, we're probably gonna be playing it. So now you have another uh, another game, Game Packed uh, Cards? Game Packed Cards, yes. Cards. This game is actually on Kickstarter right now. This okay. is a prototype version, and this is a gem crafting color blending card game. And what you're doing is you're collecting these little Domino pips out of space, and you are using them to level them up into squares and diamonds. And the way it works is two pips make a diamond. So you'll take two and you'll trade it and take that card. And then from there, you now have this and two squares, if I'm lucky, okay, two red squares will make a red diamond. So that's how you're making more points. Okay. What makes the game really interesting is that because we're using colors, you could buy an orange with two oranges, or you could buy an orange with a yellow and a red, right? Okay. Because yellow and red make orange. And that's true here as well as here. So a blue and a red square could make a purple diamond if there was one out. You also have the wild pips that let you say a blue and a blue would equal a blue, but a blue and a red might equal a purple or a blue and a yellow would equal a green. So the way the game works is you're sort of sliding around the color wheel as you're leveling up and, and trading in and tra trading out your, your uh, pips. It's fast. This is like a 20 minute game, really easy to explain. And it's surprisingly deep as you're like working your way through the color, so it works well. Okay, and then here's the Kickstarter information. Yeah, uh, if you just go to gempackedcards.com, you will be taken to the Kickstarter very quickly. Okay, and then here's the um, here's the uh, uh, website for Pencil First Games. And uh, thanks, Eduardo. If you like this video, give me a hearty thumbs up. Subscribe. If you don't like the video, shut up. <laughs> thanks for watching. Bye now.